the grandma to the bride. And uh, all what I wish for this wedding is that he that has helped me, help the mother, we helped her also. And I wish a good success, even better than us. The attire I'm wearing is native, Buba. That is uh, Yoruba culture. I'm wearing Buba, and Iro, and Gele. That is the name of attires, native Yoruba culture.
praise the Lord. Please take copy. You will need to rise a little and come here because of the left of this copy. Please, let me rise up. As I welcome uh, Ben JJ for the exhortation. Go. Oh. We gather in response to the request and invitation of Brother Shebu and Sister Damilola to be joined in only matrimony to the presence of God and His people. Marriage is the closest relationship that can exist between two human beings and the uniting of the people in holy wedlock is a sacred order. When two born again believers know it, it is the will for them to marry. They come before God and his ministers and before witnesses to join their hearts together for as long as both shall live. They are united by God as one in his sight. They are joined together as Jesus is joined to the church. The Bible calls it a great mystery. In the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 32, therefore, the wife is the object of the husband's law, even as church is the object of Christ's law. Marriage is not just a legal contract, but a spiritual contract as well. There is an actual miracle that takes place when two born again believers speak the word of faith and make their vows according to God's word. God honors their faith and unites them together. Then the charge. Uh, are you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Pastor and Savior? I think you move, move closer to the mic. Let me put your eyes. Yes, sir. Have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes. Then to the bride now. Damilola, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, sir. Have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes, sir. Then the pastors are saved to the congregation. In the eyes of God, these two people are washed in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. A man who is in Christ is a new creature. All things have passed away, and all things have become new. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and 17. They have made their decision to be joined together in marriage, believing this to be the perfect will of God for them. So from now until the end of time, I charge both of you to do everything within your power to see that this remains solid, happy, and prosperous. Let no person tamper with it or cause it to be anything other than what God has ordained it to be. Let God say, Amen. Amen.
This one you are doing today, you will never regret it. You will always remember Job 29 and smile. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No, 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 just the pastor. Really, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Please bless the chief president. Come and help her with this. Please, sir. No matter if you want to come from. She's the one. She's the one. Okay. Do you take as your wife? Do you take Damilola as your wife? As your flesh? To love her as Christ loved his church? To protect and care for her for the rest of her life? Yes, I do. Let's see what I'm talking I, I, your name. This is the church in my life. You face that now, God, according to the word of God. Leave my father, leave my father, and mother, and mother, and I join myself to you, and I join myself to you, to be husband to you, to be husband to you. From this moment forward, from this moment forward, we shall be one. We shall be one. I take you, I take you, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to love you. With all my heart affection, all my heart affection, to endow you, to endow you, with all my earthly possessions, with all my earthly possessions, to give you, to give you, all the honor of my name, all the honor of my name, and to share with you, and to share with you, the grace of my God, the grace of my God. So help me God. So help me God. Daminola, do you take Olusha as your husband? Submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reference to him as the head of the union for the rest of your life. Yes, I am. I. I. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Leave my father. Leave my father. And mother. And mother. And I join myself to you. And I join myself to you. To be wife to you. To be wife to you. From this moment forward, from this moment forward we, shall be one. we shall be one. I take you, I take you to be my wedded husband, to, be my wedded husband, to, love, you to love you with all my heart's affection, my heart affection to, endow you to endow you with all my earthly possessions, all my earthly possessions to, give you to give you all the honor of my name, of my name and, to with you and to share with you the grace of my God. The grace of the Lord. So help me God. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Just bring it. God bless you. We got that one day to celebrate you like this. Let us pray. Which symbolizes eternity. Especially the eternity of the righteousness, sanctify the two persons who are making them seal of their law, their vow, and their covenant. And this ring, serving as constant reminder, make their marriage an unbroken, continuous fullness of love. I think I thought we will say amen. With this ring, I wear thee. It's a token of my love for you and a token of my faith that I release now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let it go. I with this ring I wear thee. It's the token of my love for you 
I'm a token of my faith that I release now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, we don't say amen for the nation. And Olusheku have consented to come together in only my holy word, Lord, and have witnessed the same before God and His congregation, and here have prayed their love and fed to each other in giving and receiving of rings. I hereby pronounce them husband and wife. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please, the two of you, please, all men of God, please come here. This covenant was ratified by the shed blood of Jesus Christ at Calvary. It is important as you continue your marriage covenant with each other in the Lord that to honor the Lord and His people. Jesus said, This is my body broken for you. Eat of it. The precious body before you. Bore your sicknesses and carry your diseases. Jesus said, This is my blood and gratify the covenant. Drink my blood as often as you drink it. Do it in remembrance of me as you drink today. I want you to remember the covenant that is made available to you. The power that he has made yours and what he has done for you. of you together in the name of Jesus Christ, have the God given faith and power to ward off sickness, diseases, and the storms of life shall be made, and everything that hell will offer marriage. Through this broken body, you receive into your hands the awesome power of the Almighty God. Now, can you please face the congregation? May I present to you the latest couple <coughs> in town, <coughs> Mr. and Mrs. Ayodeji. All our dinners, please let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Someone said we are not in the mortuary, but we are here in the sanctuary. As a result, praise the Lord. I want us to get a foundation for our offering. In the book of Luke's Gospel, chapter number 6, we to the glory of God. We are doing two things together. We are giving an offering that befits God and befits our status. We are also sowing into this new couple, tapping into the grace they carry. So if you believe that with me, do something reasonable and as we pray. Eternal Father, we thank you. You gave us your only begotten Son because you love us. And as a token of our love, as a demonstration, a present display of our love for you, we want to give unto you. We pray that everyone 
that is determined to give, is poised to give something tangible, something reasonable. I pray that heaven will be open to receive it and you will bless us in return in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that Lord, as we give, we will never go back regretting that we are giving to the glory of your holy name. Thank you because it is done in Jesus' perfect name we have prayed. Hey, I'm still with her. And if I didn't say anything, 
Again, the woman came again and said, Man, send her out. Though the man was reluctant, he said, Okay, I will consult God. I always ask, Why didn't you consult God before you went to the other time? And God said, He said, You that didn't consult me, go and listen to her. That's the power of your submission. You take him as what? Your Lord. What does it mean to the Lord? Means is your Lord giver. His word stage. His word is not advice. His word is a, is a law in your home. And what's the divine commandment to you, brother? Do what? Love your wife. Yes or no? And I show you when Bible say love, what it means according to First Corinthians 13. It doesn't mean that literally. Mm -mm. He said, Lord, dear what? For long I showed you those verses. If the two of you will obey these laws, I tell you, no devil can break you. Devil will try and will fail. I pray for you, your home will stand. I say your home will stand in the name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone here this morning. Please let's go and walk out our marriage. One of the God's institutions that is under attack seriously this end time is our home. You know the one of the Bible, if you read through the Bible, one of the institutions the Antichrist we attack is the institution of marriage. Because what God wants from our home is godly seed. And so that there will be no godly seed that will rise against him when he comes. And I hope you know the Antichrist when he comes is not going to involve in marriage. Antichrist believed that the first Adam fell because of his wife, yes or no? The second Adam fell because of his wife, yes or no? Jesus died because of his wife, yes or no? Who is the wife of Jesus? The church. So the Antichrist is not going to die because of any wife. So in his kingdom, you don't marry. That is why you have gay. Because that's the preparation for his kingdom. I pray all of us, we will uphold God. And we will allow God to rule in our home. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you all. Amen. It's time to have a marriage register. So we only have the parent of the groom and the bride. The bride and the groom. They will dance to that table. Please get us two chairs there so that they can sit and do it. Praise the Lord. That table. Praise the Lord. So rise up. As we are dancing to the table, all of us will dance forward here. Pastor Shatadu, please help us coordinate the dance delay as the families are. Please, let's pray.
If you know and you are sure that you are here to rejoice to them, to dance to them, and to give thanksgiving to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the Haitian of days, rise up on your feet and shout a resounding hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. We want to pray on the first offering of gift to this wonderful couple, Doctor and Doctor Mrs. Allah Dibeji. Praise the Lord. First of all, I want us to stretch out our hands towards this offering. And I want you to pray for this offering as you will pray for your finances. That with this offering, that they will never lack resources in their home in the name of Jesus. Pray for them. And the first fruit, that they family will never lack any resources financially in their home in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name of the federal government of Nigeria, I hand over your wedding certificate to you today, the two of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You will not have cause to tear it. Amen. And you will not need another one for an end. What we are doing for you today, you will do for the children. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's time to go. It's time to go.